Yo, what's going on? In this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to set up Facebook carousel ads and how to run them on Facebook and Instagram. So I'm gonna show you guys how to create a carousel ad. And um, just going over some things that I'm taking note of, um, I ran a carousel ad on Instagram using the same exact ad set that I had for my engagement ad on Instagram. Spent like eight dollars and was getting around two cent link clicks. I said, you know, it's way too expensive. I want that shit a lot cheaper. And what now? What I'm going to do now is create a carousel ad, same exact thing, but I'm going to be running it on Facebook, just to see if Facebook ads are going to be getting me cheaper link clicks than Instagram, and is Instagram better for engagement instead of running link clicks? Um, you know, just in regards to the ad type. So um, that's a new uh, test that I'm going to be doing. So what I'm going to do is I'll start this shit from scratch to show you guys what to do. So we are going to going to create a campaign. And we're going to do traffic. And we're going to optimize it for link clicks. And we're going to do... Clothing, traffic, Facebook, carousel. Uh, in regards to keeping my Facebook ads organized, I'm not sure how exactly I'm going to go about it, especially the fact I have four businesses linked to this. Stellation Media, Unique, DGAX, Personal, DGAX, clothing. So I got to figure out a way how to go about that. So anyone have any insights with their ad set name, all that stuff, please let me know. So I'm going to be using the audience I used in the previous ad. And I'm just going to make this, you know, USA 21 to 28 streetwear flex desktop Facebook. I should really be testing desktop mobile. I'm gonna actually test mobile Facebook first before I go into desktop Facebook. It's really annoying. You have so much fucking testing you gotta do, but you gotta do what you gotta do. So what I like to do, you know, create your audience here, whatever you have to do. Then I'm gonna scroll down to edit placements. Um, I'm gonna do desktop only, and I'm gonna run this in the feeds. Um, we don't need Instagram. Yeah, let's test desktop first. Daily budget. I'm going to start it off with $5. I'm going to set this to run November 9th at 3 a.m. And I'm going to continue. So just to recap, you know, if you build out your interest, interest and audience, you do that in here. You can find that in a separate video. You can create ads and Instagram stories. Cool. Good to know. Edit placements. I'm only going to be doing it in Facebook on my feeds in desktop only. $5 a day budget. Now I'm going to go into carousel, add best pictures times 10. Facebook page is the DGAX. And what we're going to do is we're going to change the image. And these are all going to be my image library. But before we do that, we got the destination URL. Perfect. Make this, you know, your landing page or what page you want to direct the people to when they click the button. This place is going to go to my shop page. Call to action is going to be shop now. The DGAX. So I'm going to change this image. I'm going to go to my image library. Add a card at the end. I don't need that. So I'm going to change this image and go to your image library. Uploaded all these pictures last night. So I'm going to start off with this picture. And text. Welcome to the DX. Oh. 
Welcome to the DGAC sh shop, our full collection. So all I need to do is e-commerce. Um, I don't think I need to like, hey, click the link in our button. It's a streetwear company trying to keep it edgy. Um, not trying to do any of that drop shipping type stuff with emojis and those types of things. You know, they see the clothing. My branding will speak for itself. I don't need to do any of this crazy taglining. Um, headline. Uh, so right here, this is going to change the headline for each individual. Rebus Red T X. Bills cap. So I'm going to put my product name, shop now, description. Oh, maybe I'll do it like this. I'll do a welcome to the DGAX. Rebus Red T slash Ills cap. Okay, cool. So for my second image, I'm going to select it, use my image library, and I'm going to go use this picture. Um, now with these headlines, I'm actually going to get rid of, welcome to the DGAX, the DGAX, here I'll keep the DGAX, I'm going to do Arcanum Black T slash Bills Cap, just want to make sure I'm spelling my fucking names right, Arcanum Phase Rebus, okay cool, it's the name of like my t-shirts, Oh, you fucking bitch. Arcanum. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause the video right now and fast forward to all of these. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add 10 images. I'm going to make my last image um, my logo. And I'll do this one. You know, welcome to the DX. Shop our full collection. So I'm going to go add the rest of my pictures and I'll get right back to that and show you guys what I did. Hold on. I do pause this shit. All right. So I uploaded 10 images. I just want to go through it. Um, each one with you. When you go through it, just double check that everything is on point. You know, the DGAX, Arcanum, Arcanum Black Tees, X Ills Caps. Make sure all of these URLs are correct too, because you could send this directly to the product, directly to the shop page. Each image could be sent to a different place. You know, everything is spelt right. Actually, I just found an error. Heist mask. Cool. Just want to go through all of them again. I also want to show you my creative. Um, that's why I don't think I need to, I don't need to get too crazy with my ad copy. You know, my creative is definitely interesting, weird. We got a video in here as well. Um, you know, definitely got some cool shit going on too. I don't know if having the video slide number five is beneficial or not, but I think if someone's interested, that's a good, another, you know, capturing point where they're like, wow, you know, this creative is really interesting and edgy. Holy shit. This video is cool too. Um, and inside the video, you could select it right here, image video. Then you could create your thumbnail. You could upload a custom thumbnail. Um, what does this thumbnail look like? Um, I didn't even, let me see real quick. I mean, I totally forgot you could upload a custom thumbnail. You know what? I think it's cool. It actually goes with the vibe. Yep. Cool. I like it. Six. Um, the DGAX, Rebus Red T, Ills Cap. So this is like a Rebus Red T. That is the hat. There's a picture of your boy getting into the modeling. The DGAX. Okay. Everyone thinks spelt right. Ills Caps. And you got some grimy. Then welcome to the DGAX shop, our full collection. Sorry for the mumbling. I was just trying to go through this quickly. So just when you go through, make sure everything is spelt right. Make sure all these links are set up properly. Then from here, you should be good to go. Um, make sure your call to action is here. Make sure you are capturing your information. And in this case, I want this for my clothing pixel. Now I'm going to review it. Clothing, traffic, Facebook carousel. Um desktop test okay cool um traffic for link clicks usa it's 21 to 28 streetwear flex mobile facebook five dollars a day 
carousel ad best 10 pitchers confirm And I said it's around at 3 a.m. Um, just because from what I heard, let's say I ran the ad now, my daily budget would technically be for four hours and it's going to spend my $5 in four hours. So by setting it to run at 3 a.m., um, you know, it gives me some time to have, you know, full at this point, 21 hours of the day. And, you know, most likely I'll put most of my budget starting around 6 a.m. Eastern Central Time. I'm not too sure. So many people have different views about this. Um I don't know if 3 a.m. works the best, but I heard a couple of people say it, so that's what I'm rolling with. And that is how you set up a carousel ad using your ads manager. Hopefully you guys dug this tutorial. I'm documenting my entire journey with my clothing brand, personal brand, and eventually jewelry company that I plan to launch soon. And I'm showing you guys the behind the scenes of how I do my photography, my branding, my marketing, my ads, my influencer outreach, website edits. I'm gonna literally, you know, document the technicalities. And um, you know, if you like what you see, throw the thumbs up, throw the subscribe. If you don't, comment, let me know what you don't like, throw the thumbs down, tell me to fuck off. I don't care, but have a great day and uh, peace out.